Hi, as elections draw near, you may or may not decide on who will get your vote. Today, we have a look back at the interview between BBM and Boya Bunda, and we break down his answers on key issues. My name is Mark DeCastro. Welcome to Conservative Vote. Senator Bombong, you're applying to become the next president of the Philippines. If elected, pagtitibayin mo ba ang mga desisyong ito ni President Duterte at saka ng DNR o ipapawalang bisa? Well, ang mining talaga ay eh, very controversial pero dapat ang tingin natin dyan that is also very valuable uh, uh, source of uh, uh, re revenue for the government dahil ang laki ng uh, ating mga natural resources dito sa Pilipinas. Dapat siguro, lalo na in these difficult times, uh, we should take advantage of that. However, we have seen some of the disasters that have happened when it comes to mining. Eh, kailangan lang talaga nating iwasan yan, the effect on the environment. We have sufficient regulations and we have sufficient monitoring, but hindi nasusunod. That is always the problem. We have the laws, but we are not able to implement them. We are not able to fully enforce them sometimes. So Bong Bong is absolutely right on this. As, as it comes to laws in the Philippines, the Philippines has some of the strictest environmental laws in the entire world. There is not a problem on laws when it comes to mining in the Philippines. There is a problem, however, on the enforcement of those laws. Well, if we can do that, if we can take care of uh, making sure that the environmental impact is uh, in accordance with the law, then I think we can, uh, we can, uh, be, we can carefully exploit the natural resources uh, for, to help the recovery of our economy. Now, when it comes to open pit mining, I think I'm a bit wary about that uh, because it is very difficult to control uh, the pollution that's caused by open pit mining, the leaching that's, uh, that, that, is, uh, that occurs in open pit mining. There are many occurrences that even after the mine has been closed and they have covered it up and they have planted trees or they built houses on it, lumalabas ang lason, may lumalabas na kung ano-anong mga chemical na, that are bad, for, that are bad for, for the health of the people who are around it. So by the way, a lot of people don't know that the Philippines had one of the biggest disasters when it came to open pit mining in the past. That's why mining is still a very controversial issue in the Philippines. Kaya siguro pag-aralan ngayon natin yan, baka naman meron silang iniisip na bagong teknolohiya na pwede natin gamitin na sasabihin na safe ang open pit mining. But I'm, 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 again, um, I have been uh, uh, studying this uh, environmental problem that we have had since I was still in school. And open pit mining is one of those, uh, one of those uh, operations that talagang it raises alarms when it comes to, uh, especially to, when it comes to exploiting natural resources with, uh, and, and uh, uh, allowing the, uh, the use of open pit mining. Okay, you worry about open pit mining, but you are open to sustainable Mining. Absolutely, absolutely. I think it can be done. It is done in very many countries. Uh, we will just have to uh, make sure that we are cooperating with uh, the private uh, companies who are involved in this operation. And I think that there are great opportunities to be had, so long as I say we are very careful about it. Uh, one of the things that we, 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 one of the things, uh, that we have is in the Philippines is nickel. Uh, nickel is an essential part now of, of batteries, uh, the battery of mm -hmm. battery technology. So that is, uh, that is going to explode, and it already has mm -hmm. actually. And that is something that uh, we can take advantage of. We have sources of lithium. So as you can see here, BBM is very pro-mining. Whenever there's a politician who starts telling you the resources that's in the ground and giving you a plan to execute and put those resources out there into the market, that's very good for the economy. What's good about BBM is he's pro-mining, but he wants to do it in an environmentally safe way. That should give a lot of opportunity and a lot of money to the Philippines. Really, so many, there's so much potential uh, in, in all of that. So I think we have to, we have to look at everything because uh, we have been left by the COVID in a very precarious economic uh, situation. And therefore, we have to explore everything that we can do 
to uh, revitalize that Kung economy. Kung saan kumita in terms of revenue ako, because para, para, napakalaki ng contribution din ng mining industry and, and, to our economy. Absolutely. And the estimates are in the billions of dollars right. per year. So what's happened, um, especially with COVID, all around the world, not just the Philippines, is that sources of income that countries used to be able to rely on are no longer there. So countries from all over the world, and not just in the Philippines, but the United States, the UK, um, countries in Europe, are looking for alternative sources of income. And there's nothing better to do than to access and to take advantage of the materials that your country has. Uh, we cannot just, we cannot just uh, ignore that. And uh, we should make sure that uh, the, like in any other industry, that uh, the value and the profits are uh, stay within the community and uh, uh, are the, <coughs> those that are working in the mines uh, take advantage of, uh, of uh, this uh, windfall. So, Senator, to be more specific, doon sa ban na ni lift ni President Duterte, mm. doon sa new permits ng mining, that's not a problem to you. Not Your no. problem is the open uh, yes. pit mining. Yes. Kasi, uh, if we talk about mining, uh, yung mga nagsasabing responsible miners, ilan naman sa kanila, di ba? May mga nangyayari pa na water pollution, mm -hmm. yung mga displacement of uh, the locals, that's right, yes. at marami pang iba. Yes, but those are the things that, that, that we can remedy. So, I think I've had enough. If you're watching this, um, basically, what you need to pick up out of that is Bong Bong Marcos is pro-mining. He's pro-alternative incomes for the Philippine government. He's pro-new industries for people in the countryside. He just wants to make sure that if he allows mining, that he's not going to destroy the environmental um, aspects of the Philippines. So I like this very much as a politician. Um, the conservative viewpoint on this always is that if you have your own resources on the ground, take advantage of your own resources. Why, why do you still have to import things like nickel and lithium and natural gas when you already have them in the Philippines? Take advantage of it, make money out of it, and share the contributions with your countrymen. This is absolutely the right thing to do. Uh, because if the, the, mine, the mining operation, if, uh, if we... Uh... If we keep it away from, I suppose, uh, uh, the, the, the congested communities, kung saan maraming tao, uh, it will make, it make things a little better. Another issue about mining that's not spoken about very much are the benefits and compensation of those who are working. So basically, um, we don't even need to watch that clip any further. We now know that BBM is pro-mining. He just wants to make sure that he balances the rewards of mining with the risk of mining. He doesn't want to destroy the environment. He, want to, he doesn't want to destroy habitats. He doesn't want to pollute our rivers and streams. But that's just what we think. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you haven't liked this page, like it. If you haven't subscribed, do us a favor and do so. Come back on our next episode, BBM Talks About COVID.